dear students, uh, I shall continue the problem which I made it incomplete in the previous uh, discussion. Uh, this is uh, the problem we had uh, y is equal to yc plus yp for the problem which we considered. Uh, then this yc takes the solution as c1 e to the power minus x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x for the function that is d square plus 3d plus of 2 operating on y. That means this is the function for quadratic equation of the auxiliary equation. So, now we try for uh, this value that is uh, auxiliary equation and we expect uh, uh, to use either this one or this one depending on that uh, equation. Depending on that equation means now the equation in the denominator in terms of d will be with uh, first degree in the denominator but when you take that to the numerator it will become inverse that means it is to the power minus 1. So, uh, in both the cases the very important observation you have to make it as the first term should be always unity. The first term should be unity means there it is the first term if you write in the reverse order d square plus 3d plus 2 you can write like 2 plus 3d plus of d square in the increasing powers of uh, that d if you write. Okay. So, in every problem you start like this first first term always should be is equal to 1 that is unity because in the binomial theorem we have derived like that. Okay. So, 1 divided by here 2 into that is uh, 2 into d square by 2 plus of 3 by 2 that is d and plus 1 right. This is to be operated on x square plus 1 then it is y p is equal to I will reverse this uh, uh, terms third term I am going to write it as first term then 1 divided by it is 2 into 1 plus 3 by 2 it is d plus of d square divided by 2 operating on the polynomial term that is x square and the constant term as 1. Therefore, let me express this bracketed quantity of this type that means in place of d I will put a bracket that is 1 divided by 2 that is 1 plus of this quantity I will put it in the brackets that is 3 by 2 d and plus of it is d square uh, 3 by 2 d plus d square by 2 that is in the bracket inside that this is just like a plus b, this is just like a plus b, this is also a plus b, but this is to the power minus 1 and this is to the power minus 2. Okay. This is operating on, this is operating on x square plus 1, this is the polynomial term. Okay. So, now I will shift this term to the numerator, I will shift this term to the numerator, how this term is to be taken to the numerator means uh, 1 plus of 1 plus of in the brackets that is 3 by 2 d plus of d square divided by 2 and hold to the power minus 1 exactly it resembles the first type and operating on x square plus 1. Operating on means this expression you have to write that is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 minus d 1 minus of this quantity you have to write that is 3 by 2 d plus d square divided by 2 in the brackets and d square that is d square means plus of that is uh, uh, 3 by 2 it is d plus of uh, plus of d square divided by 2 whole square according to plus of d square and minus so on close the bracket and to be operated on x square plus 1. So much you have to understand here, uh, how, up to how many terms the uh, series expression you have to write, that is by binomial theorem, this is the series expression, this one. How many terms, up to how many terms here, when you take this uh, denominator quantity to the numerator, here I have taken it as a numerator by writing that as to the power minus 1 this quantity, but how many terms you have to expand. That means, it all depends on the power of this given function. 
the power of this given function means the power of this first term highest uh, degree term is x square is 2 therefore how many times if you differentiate the term is going to become 0 x square once differentiation is 2x second time differentiation is 2 and third time is constant it is 0 therefore uh, third time is not required only uh, two times differentiation is required so two times differentiation means this is one term possible here that is with uh, d square two times and this is uh, anyway already two times this is one time but this is two times so x square gives 2 and uh, 2x and one more time it gives us 2 so only one term we can expect from this expansion that is whole square okay so all these terms we will write in detail then we can see the solution according to the every individual term how that is going to fall therefore yp is equal to 1 by 2 now you release the terms inside the bracket this is minus 3 by 2 d take that minus sign inside minus of it is d square by 2 when once you expand this the first term you are getting uh, that is with plus sign 9 by 4 3 by 2 whole square 9 by 4 that is d square and uh, 2 times plus of 2 times plus of 2 times here into 3 by 2 d here this is the term and d square by 2 that is 2ab d square by 2 that's right plus of it should be d to the power of 4 divided by 4 and minus it is so on to be operated on x square plus 1 this one problem you understand in depth what I am expecting is what is the degree of that term given function as uh, represent, is representing then up to how many order of derivatives you have to carry out up to how many order of derivatives you have to carry out means uh, x square uh, if it is there 2 times x cube if, if it is there 3 times you have to do it the differentiation to get the final value as a constant ok so now 1 by 1 I will apply that is equal to 1 divided by 2 and 1 is simply multiplied by x square plus 1 that is x square plus 1 and minus of 3 by 2 that is x square plus 1 differentiation once should be 2x plus 0 otherwise you can avoid that and minus of d square by 2 minus 1 by 2 d square means what d square is applied uh, to x square means it is twice differentiation so twice differentiation here one time differentiation is 2x and twice differentiation is leaving the coefficient as 2 plus of 9 by 4 this is d square leaving the coefficient as 2 and remaining all the terms will not be useful that is the end of the uh, writing series expression that is not coming because this is d cube you will get d cube means obviously the answer is 0 therefore you will get 1 divided by 2 and multiply to this is x square is only once appeared and uh, x term here only once appeared minus uh, 3x and constants are repeated constants means this is plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled and this is 2 ok and uh, this 2 also will get cancelled and plus 9 by 2 so this is the answer what is this answer this is for particular integral then as usual you are going to write the general solution will be a combination of complementary function plus particular integral that is y is equal to yc plus of yp so yc is c1 e to the power minus x plus c2 e to the power minus of 2x this is your particular integral plus of 1 by 2 and multiply to x square minus 3x plus 9 by 2 so this is your solution for polynomial term on the right side hope you have understood this i shall continue the problems exactly like this by taking second degree term in the denominator 
shifting that to the numerator as to the power minus 2 but here we have discussed to the power as minus 1 and minus 2 also I, I shall discuss then how that behaves according to the binomial theorem expression that you have to carry out ok. So, the next problem I am going to take up as um, uh, with the second degree term in the denominator. <coughs> d minus 1 whole square d minus 1 whole square is equal uh, operating on y is equal to x square plus 2x and plus of 4. This is slightly different uh, type of uh, problem for getting uh, uh, complementary function there is no problem at all there is no uh, uh, difficulty at all. But when you go for this uh, particular integral, there you will have to think uh, very much how this expression is to be carried out. Now, in the solution, the compulsory mandatory step you have to write y is equal to yc plus yp be the general solution for yc. For yc, the auxiliary equation is what? Auxiliary equation is nothing but m minus 1 it is whole square. What is m minus 1 whole square equal to 0? m equal to 1 comma 1. What type of roots these are? Real and repeated. Real and repeated. Therefore, complementary function that is yc is equal to c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to uh, x into e to the power x because for the repeated roots case this is real numbers and repeated roots therefore what you have to uh, write in the particular integral use of inverse differential operator that should be uh, for yp for yp let yp is equal to 1 divided by that is d minus 1 it is whole square operating on x square plus 2x and plus of it is 4. d minus 1 whole square will come to the denominator which will act as inverse differential operator and this uh, plus 2 I am going to take it to the numerator by making as minus 2 that is inverse differential operator in this way that is yp is equal to in the denominator itself if I reverse the terms because I expect that 1 minus uh, d as 1 plus d whole square because when you take minus sign outside it makes a square that makes us plus sign only therefore x square plus 2x and plus of 4 <coughs> this is uh, this I am going to take it as 1 divided by 1 plus of minus d that is to the power 2 to the uh, to, uh, to be operated on x square plus 2x and plus of 4 right this is for yp then how to write in the numerator that is yp is equal to 1 plus of uh, minus of d whole to the power this is minus 2 whole to the power minus 2 to be operated on x square plus 2x and plus of 4 this is an operator this is a function the derivative operator should be operated on the function there are three terms in this problem it is given in the earlier problem only two terms were there one was variable and the another one was constant here also two terms as variables and one term as uh, constant so this is to be operated using the expression so whatever you have written that is 1 plus d whole to the power minus 2 here you must write the formula we know that we know that 1 plus d whole to the power it is minus 2 is equal to 1 minus 2d plus 3d square minus 4 it is d cube and plus so on this formula you must remember for applying whenever you get uh, second degree in the denominator and another formula as I mentioned whenever you get first degree in the denominator because when you take it to the numerator it becomes uh, the inverse value 
of the same whatever the power it is appeared in the equation right here this is d minus 1 whole square we made it as 1 plus of minus d all to the power minus 2 then you have to replace everywhere uh, you have to replace that d by minus d here therefore your new yp becomes 1 minus 2 into minus d in place of d you have to put it as minus d 3 times it is uh, d square minus d whole square just uh, replace d by minus d that is minus of 4 into minus d it is whole cube and plus so on to be operated on to be operated on x square plus 2x and uh, plus of it is 4 then what is the uh, next step you have to write you have to write the differentiation how that differentiation you have to carry out applying to every term every term according to the expanded terms you have shown in the brackets how that expanded term for uh, 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 to be applied to the right side terms there are three terms on the right side x square plus 2x plus 4 okay so one is a constant it is not an operator it is simply constant one will be multiplied to all the three terms that is yp is equal to yp is equal to x square right x square and uh, anyway uh, first of all uh, let me do that uh, uh, anyway no problem this is minus into minus that becomes plus sign you have to differentiate so 2 times of d is there and uh, x square plus 2x plus 4 and uh, minus minus this becomes plus sign and plus of 2 times differentiation of that given function it is 2x and plus of 2 2x plus of 2 is over and minus up, uh, minus uh, this is minus d whole square means plus d square and uh, 3 times d square that means d square is to be operated on x square d square is to be operated on 2x and d square is operated uh, to be operated on constant 4 then what are the values that is plus of 3 you have to write because minus whole square that becomes plus sign and 2 times of that differentiation leaving the coefficient as 2 and remaining all the terms will give us the answer as 0 because all the forthcoming terms will be with the increasing powers of d increasing powers means uh, successive differentiation uh, because highest degree of the polynomial term here you have as 2 therefore only 2 times you will get the constant later for any uh, degree uh, of the uh, sorry order of the derivative that term will be leading to 0 therefore you close the bracket that is the end of it therefore x square on the right side minus or plus of 2x plus 4 and this becomes plus of 4x and this becomes plus 4 and this becomes 6 3 into 2 is 6 ok now you can simplify x square 2x and 4x it is 6x and 6 plus 4 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 4 is 14 then it is yp therefore y is equal to y is equal to this complementary function that is yc plus yp is equal to c1 e to the power x plus c2 x into e to the power x and plus of x square plus 6x plus 40 so this is the answer for the polynomial uh, term whenever you have that is second uh, degree in the denominator now so based on these two important cases now i shall move on to extra problems on this topic uh, with the combination of uh, rule 1 rule 2 and rule 3 all the three i will include in the next uh, one or two examples how those uh, rule 1 rule 2 rule 3 can be applied in single problem all the three inverse differential operator behavior how that will be uh, that, that is to be operated that we have to see in each problem ok example solve
d minus 2 whole square operating on y is equal to 8 into e to the power 2x plus sin 2x <coughs> sorry sin 2x plus of x square uh, treat this as some uh, importance this is an important problem where you can take uh, d minus 2 whole square operating on y is equal to 8 into that means one term is exponential one term is sig uh, trigonometric function and another term is polynomial term so this is rule 1 this is rule 2 and this is rule 3 all the three rules we are going to apply all the three rules we are going to utilize in a single problem because individual rules already you have studied now all the three cases we are putting together in a single problem then as usual you have to write let the general solution y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral that is cf plus of pi this is complementary function plus particular integral in terms of yc and yp then for yc that is for complementary function then it becomes as uh, left side auxiliary equation that auxiliary equation means m minus 2 whole square is equal to 0 so this is m minus 2 whole square that's equal to 0 means you will get two values of m you will get two values of m means how in what type m is equal to plus 2 and m is equal to plus 2 there are two values uh, m which we call them as real numbers that means real values and repeated real values and repeated that is the case of real number system both are real they are not complex quantities both are real and uh, we have uh, the repeated case so accordingly complementary function is nothing but c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 x into e to the power 2x so this is your complementary function for this problem so uh, the marks division in the exam uh, uh, whether it is any scheme marks division in the exam for this type of situations you remember that is uh, all these years uh, according to the VTO guidelines we have the first step that means first part uh, complementary function always out of the total marks complementary function will be maybe one or two marks complementary function uh, but if you do not write complementary function directly if you go for particular integral then this marks will be deducted so you start with uh, writing first as complementary function and then as particular integral so that is the normally uh, valuation scheme uh, the marks divisions will be uh, there according to the question paper then so for every problem in this case differential equations you have to write the complementary function uh, properly understood the understand the uh, roots of the auxiliary equation and then you can uh, fix what are the number of constants that you can assign to the complementary function here there are two numbers then two constants you have to assign okay here there are two numbers what type of numbers you come across the numbers are real and different the numbers are real and repeated the numbers may be imaginary only these three cases you must practice or no, no outside the the range of this uh, three types of roots you are going to expect and everywhere even in the engineering applications also of course differential equation uh, I forgot to tell you differential equations plays a major role in all uh, disciplines of engineering maybe if we want to take civil engineering of course uh, the calculations of stresses and strains in the beams and columns of the civil engineering branch we are going to discuss in the form of these differential equations if you go to mechanical branch and automobile engineering there you will have to discuss two types of fluids one is uh, classical fluids and the another one is viscous fluids there also uh, the role of differential equation uh, plays a major part of it uh, where you are going to expect uh, the uh, uh, solution of the differential equation or we call it as a mathematical modeling we uh, propose for that situation and in case if you want to go for go to analyze the vibration analysis maybe in the design and uh, uh, thermal power engineering in mechanical branch then you need to introduce these uh, vibrations uh, in the form of differential equations then you have to solve then by the solution what you have obtained this solution you have to analyze how this solution can be interpreted so this is what physical uh, meaning of that for example in the electrical branch 
if you want to go to elect, uh, study the electrical branch of differential equation application, then what is the total current flowing in the circuit? Whether it is a circuit with uh, uh, one battery is connected or circuit with uh, two batteries are connected. So, there we will construct a differential equation to analyze the flow of the current, then the solution will be discussed uh, by the analytical method using Laplace transforms using this type of uh, analytical method or numerical technique. So, any one of these solutions will fall. If you go to uh, electronics engineering branch, in the case of electronics and uh, uh, telecommunication engineering branch, these differential equations will play the major role in order to uh, uh, get the sharpness of the signal uh, uh, of the digital signal processing. So, in that subject we use differential equations and the solutions using Fourier series and Fourier transforms. So, everywhere differential equations will take the major uh, role in order to give some engineering uh, situations, engineering models. Engineering models means models are nothing but formulations. Models are no, maximum number of models are nothing but either in the form of matrix or in the form of differential equation or in the form of stochastic models in statistics and probability or in the form of uh, that is uh, algebraic uh, concepts that means abstract algebraic concepts. Okay. Here uh, you can uh, take mathematically this is for complementary function we have studied. Now the particular integral, so we expect this particular integral uh, uh, using inverse differential operator. So let y p is equal to that is 8 divided by uh, d minus 2 whole square to be operated on that is e to the power 2x and plus of e to the power 2x plus of uh, that is sin of uh, uh, 2x plus of x square. There are three terms to be operated on the right side mathematically and one by one let me take 1 by 1 let me take that is y p is equal to first one e to the power 2 x means exponential term that is 8 into 1 by it is d square minus 4 d and plus 4 you are going to take to be operated on e to the power 2 x this is one thing and plus of uh, plus of that is 8 into 1 divided by same expression that is d square minus 4 d plus 4 to be operated on it is sin of 2 x you write as it is and another term that is x square that is plus of here for this term you do not expand this you take it as it is plus of 8 into 1 divided by if you take minus sign outside making whole square that remains to be same then I will write uh, uh, 2 outside of course. 2 I have to take outside then it is called 2 and uh, leaving the coefficient inside that is uh, 1 minus uh, d by 2 1 minus d by 2 otherwise 1 plus otherwise 1 plus minus of d by 2 you can put this minus inside the bracket this is whole square I think uh, when you take 2 whole square that is 2 square to be operated on this polynomial term. So, now we have as I mentioned that you have uh, all the three rules in this problem. This is rule number 1 for the exponential, this is rule number 2 for the trigonometric function, this is rule number 3. Uh, uh, we, have, we are studying all the three to be operated with inverse differential operator to obtain the solution as particular integral. Okay. Now, one by one let us write the solutions one by one. The first solution is to be replaced that is uh, putting a is equal to d is equal to a equal to 2. What is the condition there? Provided the denominator is not leading to 0. Uh, let us uh, check this how this function is going to behave. Okay. So, what I will do is uh, this is RHS this is the first term I will take I will do it separately and this is the second term I will do it separately and this is third term I will do it separately. Now, according to y p the first term in y p the first term that means right side it is a first term. So, what is the uh, value right side first term means you have to replace 
8 divided by it is 2 square minus 4 into 2 and plus 4 correct huh? that is e to the power 2x that is equal to 8 divided by 4 twos are 8 2 square is 4 and this is 4 this is 0 e to the power 2x you must be very very careful uh, here because the denominator is leading to 0 that means this is the case of failure yesterday uh, in the previous discussions we made uh, this is the case of failure means uh, then you have to take the differentiation and then you have to make the case of success from the failure situation to the case of success how to do it then this is equal to 8 then divided by this is d square you must differentiate 2d you must differentiate minus 4 and then e to the power 2x to be operated once again you test that is 8 divided by that is 2 into 2 and minus of 4 e to the power 2x and this becomes 8 divided by this is 4 minus 4 that becomes 0 that means once again it is a failure case once again it is the case of failure that means two times we are coming uh, we are getting the answer as uh, 0 here two times we are getting the answer as 0 means still you have to proceed that is equal to uh, again it is a case of failure here I will write failure here I will write failure then one more time you have to differentiate then that is equal to 8 divided by it is 2d differentiation is 2 then e to the power 2x so that is the end of it okay then yp first one is equal to 8 divided by 2 means it is 4 that is e to the power 2x this is the solution now we will try for the second term whatever that yp second case is going to give right in yp in yp second term what is that second term this one so uh, second term is equal to 8 divided by it is d square minus 4d and plus 4 and that is operating on sine of it is 2x now you have to replace d square by minus 2 square let us verify 8 divided by this is minus 2 square means minus 4 and minus of 4d and plus 4 correct huh? this is operating on it is sine of 2x then minus 4 and plus 4 will cancel that is minus 2 because 8 divided by minus 4 that becomes minus 2 and d so sine of 2x what I told 1 by d is nothing but an integral it is nothing but primitive of differentiation that is called integral that is minus 2 1 divided by d operating on sine 2x right this is minus 2 integration integration that is sine of 2x this becomes sine integration is minus that is plus 2 times it is cos x therefore this is equal to 2 times cos x or uh, 2 times cos 2x sorry uh, minus 2 2 times cos 2x divided by 2 that means 2 gets cancelled that is divided by 2 this 2 this 2 will cancel because 2 is there okay 4 8 divided by 4 means 2 and this 2 will cancel and this minus makes us plus sign therefore second term is cos 2x right now the third term you have to discuss that is regarding polynomial term what is that in in yp that is third term i am doing it separately now this is first this is second and this is third okay what is that third term that is 2 square i have taken uh, 2 to the 4 this comes to be 4 to the 8 therefore that is equal to 2 divided by 1 plus of it is minus d by 2 minus d by 2 and it is made as whole square that is on x square right so this is equal to this is equal to 2 into 1 plus of minus d divided by 2 
and it is to the power minus 2 operating on operating on single term that is x square that is x square is the only polynomial term. Now you have to expand this that is 2 into so what is the formula that uh, you uh, come across in the expansion it should be like 1 plus of d to the power minus 1. So this is the expansion sorry uh, this is uh, 1 plus of d square uh, that is 1 plus of d whole to the power minus 2 it is not uh, plus uh, minus 1 therefore 1 minus 2d plus 3d square minus 4 it is d cube and plus so on. So this is the formula uh, according to binomial theorem this is the formula to be used and to be operated on x square binomial theorem for negative index this is negative index but in the denominator it is positive index this one plus 2 when you write it to the numerator it becomes negative index okay so now uh, this is to be operated uh, bracketed term square bracketed term on the floor bracket that is 1 into x square here 1 is a constant multiplied to x square you will write x square minus of 2 differentiation once that is 2x and plus of 3 differentiation twice that makes us 2 and close the bracket so this becomes the value it is 2x square right 2x square and minus 4 minus 8x 3 into 2 6 plus 2 uh, 6 into 2 that is plus of 12 so the answer is this much 2x square minus 8x and plus of 12 hence the uh, final solution that means uh, uh, general solution that is y is equal to yc plus yp means complementary function plus particular integral will be uh, general solution we write with this addition what is that this is y is equal to c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 x into e to the power 2x and the first term first term is 4 plus of 4 e to the power 2x and second term that is plus of cos 2x cos 2x is the second term and what is the third term third term is this much 2x square <coughs> 2x square minus 8x and plus 12 so this is the complete solution for the given problem when all the three rules are implemented rule 1 rule 2 and then rule 3 then I shall move on to the last example in this case uh, then I, I will be explaining <coughs> another method uh, last example is like this solve y double dash plus of y dash and uh, equal to x square plus 2x and plus of 4 this is another uh, totally different variety of the problem in the left side how this is going to affect on the right side on the polynomial terms in order to obtain uh, the particular solution we will verify solution let this is to be written in the form of that is capital D that is to be written in the form of capital D what is this second order derivative d by d square y divided by dx square plus dy by dx is equal to x square plus 2x and plus of 4 second order derivative plus first order derivative is equal to summation of three terms right side summation of three terms means two terms are polynomial terms and one term is constant now as usual you write the complementary function uh, that means our general solution as yc plus yp then for yc complementary function uh, this must be written in another form what it is uh, that means for for this is to be written as d square plus d 
operating on y is equal to x square plus 2x plus of 4. That is the standard form of writing the problem in terms of capital D. In terms of capital D, uh, second order derivative it is d square, keeping this y as the dependent variable outside and dy by dx that is for d and to be operated on y and as usual uh, those polynomial terms. Okay. So now for yc the auxiliary equation, what is that auxiliary equation? m square plus m equal to 0 m square plus m is equal to 0 means in place of d square you are writing as m square then in place of d you are writing it as m therefore m into m plus 1 equal to 0 that implies m is equal to 0 and m is equal to minus 1 this implies yc that is complementary function is equal to c1 e to the power 0 into x plus c2 e to the power minus 1 into x. So, this is uh, the uh, complementary function uh, so, uh, as the solution for the LHS of the problem that is e to the power 0 is 1 therefore, you can write it as c1 plus c2 e to the power minus that is x. So, this is the complementary function as d is common because from these two you are taking it as d as common and it, it must be m plus 1 which gives m is equal to minus 1, m is equal to 0, m is equal to 0 and minus 1 is the solution. Now, for yp let inverse differential operator let yp is equal to 1 divided by this is d square and plus of d and then uh, to be operated on x square plus 2x and plus of 4 right there are two terms of this of this kind then how to write this one uh, as an inverse differential operator 1 divided by it is d you are going to take it as common factor and then d plus 1 operating on x square plus 2x and plus of 4. So, first of all I will take uh, 1 by d outside and second term that is to be operated 1 by d plus 1 I will take it as 1 plus d in the reverse order and then it is to be operated on x square plus 2x and then plus 4. So, here here some interesting uh, term is there here d square plus d is there okay to operate this and to apply the uh, series expansion using binomial theorem this is not in the ready form because we expect this one should be as a first term that should be first term is always unity that is one so one is not there here as it is if you want to operate one is not there but d is common you can write d outside and this becomes one plus of d is your f of d that means f of d in the denominator as 1 plus of d. So, this I will take to the numerator leaving this 1 by d as it is completely outside 1 plus of d whole to the power minus 1 that is operated on x square plus 2x and plus 4 correct. Huh? So, now 1 plus d you have to expand according to the series expansion uh, using uh, the binomial theorem concept. So, what is that series expansion you have studied 1 minus d and plus 2 d square like that ok. That series expansion formula you have to write first that formula goes in this way 1 minus d 1 plus d whole to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 minus d plus that is uh, d square minus d cube and so on. This is the formula. So, exactly you must write in this place yp is equal to 1 by d and then uh, inside the bracket that is 1 minus d exactly this is same form and plus d square minus d cube and plus so on to be operated on x square plus 2x and plus of 4. 
right so this is equal to this is equal to 1 by d this should be uh, x square plus 2x and plus of 4 and then differentiation that is minus sign is there minus 2x and minus 2 and twice this this is the only term exists that is with plus sign it is 2 so that is the end of it ok that is the end of it applying the binomial theorem concept then we will simplify 1 by d to be operated on these terms x square ok and then 2x gets cancelled and uh, minus 2 gets cancelled and leaving only two terms uh, in the simple form that is x square plus 4 this is for yp still it is not the complete solution for particular integral because 1 by d is there so 1 by d means it is the integral that means primitive of the differentiation therefore yp yp is equal to integral of x square plus 4 it is dx because 1 by d is always the integral symbol you remember ok integral is equal to 1 by d otherwise 1 by d is equal to integral it is the primitive of differentiation then should be x cube by 3 and uh, plus of uh, should be x cube by 3 and plus of 4 into dx that is 4 into x plus constant should not be written because we are working for particular integral it is nothing but particular solution particular solution should be free from always the constants arbitrary constants but it should contain the real constants 1 by 3 and 4 therefore uh, the general solution can be written as uh, m equal to 0 and minus 1 this is the solution yc this is the general solution equal to yc plus yp what is that yc c1 plus c2 e to the power minus x and plus of x cube by 3 plus of 4 x is there so this is what the solution in the case of uh, polynomial terms and then uh, you can repeat and uh, you can uh, um, uh, find out so many problems from the uh, gravel uh, textbook that is uh, your prescribed textbook according to the VTO syllabus plenty of problems are available so up to here inverse differential operator which we are going to use now the next uh, technique of solving the differential equation these three rules perfectly you study so now i will move on to the uh, last discussion of this uh, differential equation as variation of parameters how these equations which contain on the right side other than sine and cosine even uh, other than uh, usual form of exponential uh, the a denominator exponential when we are getting a summation and difference and then cot secant cosecant uh, tan functions when you come across on the right side how to solve these differential equations so one or two examples i will give on that concept that is for uh, the variation of parameters now the end of it of course uh, i shall uh, uh, i could have written a few more problems but uh, you can collect all those problems plenty of problems are there but these are completely based on different varieties which I have selected. So study these problems and apply this knowledge, apply this knowledge to the other area. Then we will move on to the next uh, discussion in my next class. Thank you.